hello everybody uh, welcome to my kitchen and my channel today we're gonna be making eggplant rollantini so it's very simple recipe um, and all you need is a cup of shredded mozzarella a cup of shredded or grated uh, pecorino romano pecorino we have uh, fresh chopped parsley a cup here we have one and a cup of a ricotta, which is reduced fat. I have a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm using sea salt here with a teaspoon of black pepper. You need one egg and a nice firm eggplant. With um, I have my homemade sauce here that I make myself. Then we have to thinly slice the the eggplant and also we need some nice extra virgin olive oil so let's get started by removing first the the ends your knife has to be very sharp both sides of the I don't like the end of it and then we remove a little bit of the the skin that so you just have to be precise and they have to be thin not too thick and preheating our oven at 400 degrees for like five minutes as you can see the very thin and rollantines are called that you can roll them. So you have to bake these for five minutes, no longer, till they get wilted. And as thin as you can. I had a friend who was uh, Italian and she taught me had to make these and I thank you my friend hopefully you're safe and you're well and I appreciate my family loves this so for one eggplant it comes out one whole pan as thin as you can make sure your knife is very very sharp before and you have precise hands. Your eggplant cannot be soft, it has to be firm, not brown inside. It has to be like this, white, nice. cookie sheet here. I'm going to use it with a drizzle of olive oil. We don't want to fry them, we just want to bake them so you don't need too, too much. We're just going to spread some olive oil. And if you see you put too much, you can just Clean it with down the paper. We don't want to fry them because the temperature is very high. Just lay them down like this so. You don't need to season them yet. So I have here eggplant that's going to need two pans. A 
about five minutes, no longer, to your cooking time until they get a little bit wilted. And let's fit this somewhere here. Okay, just like that, a small one here. And off to the oven we go. For our filling here, we have one and a half cup of ricotta. We have one cup of Pecorino Romano, grated. One and a half cups of shredded mozzarella. We're gonna leave some mozzarella for the topping. Teaspoon of black pepper and teaspoon of sea salt. I'm using sea salt here with fresh parsley, a cup of fresh parsley and one egg. And just mix these together. This is our filling. While our eggplant are baking and rollantinis. Just nice, beautiful, beautiful filling here we have. We leave about half a cup. Now that our eggplant is done, so we want just that way to be rolled gently. See how it just rolls very smoothly. We don't want them cooked any longer. We're just gonna leave them to cool off before we fill them. Now that our eggplant cooled off, as you can see, it's very rolly. We put our homemade sauce here the bottom. I like my homemade sauce a little bit thick. Some like a little runny, but I like them thick. Put that to the side. And we have a beautiful rollantini here. And just put this about a half a tablespoon or so and just roll them that's why they call them rollantini and just lay them on your pan just like that so beautiful so delicious and you can make these and freeze them you can make them a week in advance and just thaw them and cook them you don't need to cook them all at once. If you want, if you have it for a party or for for an event that you you're throwing, these are delicious for your for your guests. Just like that, a simple. You don't need to overstuff them. They're just perfect. Just put the filling here at the ends. Very fast. Just roll and put it in your pan. We put our sauce on the top, just like that, not too much, 
and we leave it open. You don't close it with the foil. You don't tighten it, just leave it open like this. Off to the oven we go, another 20 minutes and 400 degrees. It looks beautiful. Now that our rollantini is almost done, just gonna take a handful of shredded torella, put it in the top, and we're gonna put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes till our mozzarella completely melts over it. The more mozzarella, better. Some parsley. Top. There goes another 10 minutes and 400 degrees. We're gonna have delicious rollantinis. Guys, our rollantini is done and our mozzarella melted perfectly. Wow, can't wait to try it. Delicious. So soft. Using all the ricotta with I hope you try this to make it at home very simple recipe and for your guests and your family Till next time, ciao, leave a comment, subscribe, thank you.